On behalf of the Beta Gamma Sigma Board of Governors and the Global Headquarters staff, we would like to welcome you to this membership recognition ceremony. You've been invited to become a member of Beta Gamma Sigma as you've shown an outstanding aptitude for business studies and have demonstrated your worth ethic and determination. This event is a testimony to your hard work. We are honored to have you join us here this, as a new member. This recognition ceremony symbolizes your introduction into the very exclusive group of top business scholars. Medicaid and Sigma chapters are only permitted to establish at business institutions that have worked to gain the prestigious AACSB recognition. Of that, currently there are just over 845 universities that have earned this accreditation. Of that number, over 600 have established a Beta Gamma Sigma chapter. We only admit the top 10% of undergraduate students and the top 20% of graduate students. And you'll, you're joining a group with many distinguished, accomplished business practitioners. Beta, Beta Gamma Sigma dates back to the early years of the 20th century. During that time, business schools were largely excluded from consideration of scholarly societies. They thought if you were studying business, you weren't really the best. We now know certainly that that's not true. During that time, three, three student recognition groups from various universities across the country, University of California, Berkeley, University of Illinois, and University of Wisconsin came together in 1913 to form the first chapter of Beta Gamma Sigma. 100 plus years later, this is the largest organization in the world honoring business school grad graduates internationally. Beta, Beta Gamma Sigma membership is the highest honor that a business student attending an AACSB accredited institution can achieve. Members are all over the world and currently reside in over 190 countries. You can find fellow members everywhere you go. They serve in a wide variety of industry and are not focused on one particular professional area. And this allows for a unique opportunity for you to network. And I do hope you take advantage of it. You might be curious about where it comes from. Piabos, the first letter of beta, it stands for honor. Gamma is the first letter of gnosis, which means wisdom. And sigma stands for spada, or earnestness. What's our ceremony going to look tonight, like tonight? Well, We'll start, I've started with the welcome, and I'll give you a brief introduction to our speaker, um, George Brown. And then we'll pre present the candidates. You'll hear a description of the tenets of Beta Gamma Sigma, and a promise led by Interim Associate Dean Martin Gritch, and then a conclusion. George Brown was at the same point you are about 31 years ago looking forward to his graduation from William Patterson University. He went on to get an MBA from Fordham University, where he became a member of Beta Gamma Sigma. George has had a, quite an interesting, illustrious career. He started in what they call vertical transportation, which took me a little while to figure out that that meant the elevator business. He worked for major companies, Otis and others, doing installation, not installations, but placing his products with excellent companies. He now works for AI Fire as his chief operating officer. They are a total one-stop shop located in 19 states uh, that provide fire protection services for many companies. 
Good evening, and thank you, Dean Goddard, for the honor and privilege to participate in tonight's ceremony. I commend you and William Patterson University for your extra efforts to celebrate this special occasion during these difficult times. First and foremost, congratulations to all of you on your induction to Beta Gamma Sigma. As a result of your hard work and academic performance, you're being recognized as an elite group and as the best in business. And you are joining the largest alumni in the world for graduates of business programs. Well done and a great place to start your professional journey. Had I given this address even just two months ago, I would have referenced stories from the past 30 plus years since I left the William Patterson campus. Covering my experiences in different businesses and companies, the many leadership lessons, some of which I learned the hard way, and I certainly would have mentioned my good fortune in having a few key people believe in me and provide the mentorship that's been critical in my career. But given the events of the past six weeks, my perspective is much different this evening. The rapid changes and level of uncertainty we are all facing due to the impact of COVID-19 have profoundly affected all of us both personally and professionally. While the health concern for our families, friends, and our work associates is our clear priority, the economic impact of this crisis both nationally and globally are unprecedented and largely still undetermined. For me personally, this crisis has presented a number of challenges I never considered previously. In the early weeks, planning so my family would have enough groceries, cleaning supplies, and protective equipment to ensure our safety. Not to mention how to manage the internet capacity at home with three kids on remote classroom each day. From a business perspective, in the span of two weeks, my organization went from rapid growth where we had a dozen acquisitions in the pipeline and couldn't find enough talent fast enough to service our customers to a sharp and sudden business decline with liquidity concerns that required fast action to weather a significant downturn. We prioritized protecting our team, our business, and our cash to survive the next two to three months. We did all of this with no playbook, nor any best practices or standard procedures, and in an environment that at times changed by the day. I have no doubt this crisis will be a significant inflection point for many aspects of our society and economy. Given these changes, there will be tremendous opportunities ahead and the leadership and innovation of American business will play an important role to provide critical solutions and support. You see it happening already over the past few weeks as companies retool and adapt. They use their ingenuity, their creativity, and the grit that are hallmarks of our country and all require strong and ethical leadership. In the short term, this will be a challenging time to enter the workforce but the larger possibilities for you to make a significant impact to develop your leadership and to serve others in new ways will be tremendous. And this leads me back to the significance of your induction tonight. As I reflected on the core values of Beta Gamma Sigma and your induction, it is clear to me that they represent a degree of certainty for the path ahead. And I'm confident they will be more important and more relevant than ever. I'd like to spend a moment to share some of my thoughts on each. Beta, or honor, is defined as personal integrity and excellence of character, an enduring quality found in all persons who deserve to lead others. It's one of two critical components of leadership, the other being performance, specifically performance to service to others. It's about protecting your brand and ensuring your words, intentions, and actions are consistent and aligned with what's important to you. As former New York Giants coach Bill Parcells once said, we are who our record says we are. We each have control over our record and are solely accountable to it. Unfortunately, there are plenty of examples of smart people making bad choices that destroy their reputation and credibility. People will not follow those lacking integrity, at least not for long. Gamma, or wisdom, is defined as knowledge tested by experience and tempered by discerning judgment. It's about adaptability and a propensity to learn. It's desire and effort to understand the details and drivers. Too many people don't dig deep enough for a full comprehension or spend too much time on items that are not relevant. 
In your career, this is especially significant in your early positions and roles. So you can gain a deep understanding and experience as much as possible. And it's not about jumping too quickly to the next promotion. I continue to rely on experiences from my 20s and 30s when making key decisions and strategies. They are foundational. It's also about flexibility and humility to learn from anyone and everyone. Be curious. There's big value in asking a lot of questions. Early in my career, when I was transitioning from a finance background to leading a large P&L, I didn't have the operational and commercial experience needed day one. The right questions and a lot of listening, along with buying many breakfasts from my field associates, helped me tremendously to ensure that I had the information needed to make the right decisions for the business. And lastly, sigma or earnestness is defined as enthusiasm measured by achievement disciplined by reason and ennobled by sincerity. First, it's putting the time and effort and focus into what matters most for each of us. Given the academic achievements we are recognizing this evening for this group, this is clearly a strength for each of you. There is no shortage of people who can explain what they want from a job or career or from life, but many can't answer the question, what are you willing to do for it? How hard will you work? How hard will you train? And what sacrifices will you make? A very simple and consistent formula that I've seen and used throughout my career is that preparation drives confidence and confidence drives performance. Secondly, it's about understanding that failure will be a significant part of the development process and having the persistence and the grit to not only push through the setbacks and obstacles, but to use them as a foundation for future success. With the constant barrage of social media highlight reels that we are exposed to on a daily basis, it's easy to believe that there exists a higher level of perfection. Instead, we should measure against our own internal scorecard as the legendary UCLA coach John Wooden used with his national championship basketball teams. Find your best and track to it, not what others are supposedly doing. In my experience, these values are certain and they are foundational, and they've provided guide points in my career and personal life, especially in times of great change and uncertainty. As you move to the next phase of your life and professional career, I encourage all of you as leaders to begin each day with questioning not what you have to do today, but rather what will you contribute. Again, congratulations on your achievements and induction to Beta Gamma Sigma. I wish you the best in your future path and much success to all of you. Be safe and thank you. Now let's meet our candidates for membership. Marissa Edelman, Dunia Ali, Jawahar Amadba, Declan Bubinski, Michelle Boyle, Juliana Buziero, Christina Cardone, Gianna Cosia, Michael Creighton Jr., Caitlin Crum, Tamaris D'Souza Zemperelli, Stephen D. Geronimo, Sean Elkin, Luis Garcia, Luke Ghetto, Melvina Giannolis, Nicholas Goodwin, Jackie Gorman, Bess Heifertz Light, Alexis Hoffman, Carla Hincho Stegi, Matthew Kerr, Erica Kawa Witter, Anija Knighton. Melissa Kumbayenji, Isabella Limon, Ermili Weiss, Evelyn Morales, Flor Moriera, Nicole Morocco, Christopher Naylor, Thomas Nemeth, Elvis Ramirez, Deanna Riffle, Ivona Ristovoka, Ravi Sharma, Jordan Simone, 
Shannon Super, Vasco Timokov, Stephen Tilly, Brittany Walker, Tatiana Williams, Katie Zabel, Khadija Zawadin. There were a number of people who were also tapped that didn't send me photographs, but they are also going to be members of Beta Gamma Sigma. So you can look for your friend's name on this list. My name is Martin Gretsch. I'm the Interim Associate Dean of the Kutsaks College of Business. And I will uh, give you a bit more information about the three letters that you see on your screen and then lead the pledge. You have been honored by an invitation to membership in Beta Gamma Sigma. Because of what you have achieved in scholarship and service, we are delighted to have you join us. Beta Gamma Sigma is the Scholastic Honor Society established to encourage and honor academic achievement in the study of business, to foster personal and professional excellence, to advance the values of the society, and to serve its lifelong members. The principles of Beta Gamma Sigma are represented by three concepts reflected in the name of our society. Beta is the initial letter of the Greek word babaios, which signifies honor. Honor is personal integrity and excellence of character. It is a prerequisite for those who lead others. It also encourages altruism and enlightened social responsibility and service. Gamma is the initial letter of the Greek word gnosis, which signifies wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge tested by experience and tempered by discerning judgment. It avoids prejudice and insists on freedom of thought and expression. Those who are wise seek a better comprehension and a more fruitful application of what is known. They engage in a quest for understanding. Sigma is the initial letter of the Greek word spude, which signifies earnestness. Earnestness is enthusiasm measured by achievement, reason, and sincerity. It is that dynamic quality which which is essential for all great achievements. Persons who reflect earnestness inspire confidence, invite action, and generate progress. To each of you, much has been given. Of each of you, accordingly, much is expected. I ask each of you to accept honor, wisdom, and earnestness as principles to guide and stimulate your personal conduct every day of your life. You have heard the principles which members of Beta Gamma Sigma endorse and strive to uphold honor, wisdom, and earnestness. Do you accept these principles as your own? If so, say, I do. So I'm assuming that you did this in the privacy of your living room or from wherever else you're following, which is a bit different than a normal ceremony, but these are the current um, uh, situation that we're in. So uh, if you could please repeat it after me also in the privacy of wherever you are, a statement in which you formally accept the principles of Beta Gamma Sigma. I pledge myself to maintain and uphold the ideals and principles of Beta Gamma Sigma, the Scholastic Business Honor Society. I will guard and cherish honor. I will strive ever to acquire wisdom and use it for the betterment of mankind. I will cultivate earnestness in all my undertakings. As a member of this chapter of Beta Gamma Sigma, I will recognize my obligation to assist and cooperate in the development of its purposes. I will seek by all honorable means to advance the interests of the college, of my community, and of my nation. Do you affirm this pledge? If so, say, I do. And I'm assuming that you all said that, so 
With that being said, welcome to Lifetime Membership in Beta Gamma Sigma, and congratulations. Congratulations. And we hope to see you at the real graduation, wearing your Beta Gamma Sigma uh, shawl. Have a great evening.